Hello lovely human beings, it's Loretta. Welcome back to my channel. I'm with Sparrowhawker Designs. So I am in the middle of making this altered book for a friend of mine. Uh, we did, this is the first page that I did. This is the second one, which is pockets. And then this was the third one. Uh, you can go back and watch the others if you haven't. And then, um, well actually, <laughs> there's only a video on prepping the book and this page I think is the only one I actually got videos for. Sorry, if you hear my dogs moving around, uh, it's 4th of July weekend and people are setting off fireworks even though it's not the 4th and so the dogs are a little concerned. They keep circling my work table. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> okay, so today... I have tried to prep as much of this ahead of time as I can to try to make it go a little bit faster. So these are little, if you can see those. Uh, this was, I just took book pages out of the book and cut them with this cutter. You don't have to use a serrated one like that. You could use just a regular cutter. I kind of like the little scallop swoopy thing that it does there. Um, then I put gesso over it. You probably could just use regular white acrylic for this or any color paint that you want to use actually. Um, then I stamped butterflies on them and then I used this um, glitterific uh, glitter paint which I absolutely love. It just adds something extra. <clears throat> so I've made seven of these. I really think I only need six but Anyway, and then I have, these are our ladies for this page. There's this gal here and this gal here. And these are just uh, Tim Holtz butterfly wings that I put on the back of their pictures. And then I added this glitterific paint on, on their wings as well, which I really like the way that came out. So this whole spread is going to be real glittery. Uh, so, and then I think I'm going to uh, put a hole here and do some kind of dangle with a couple of these images that I made using beeswax. I've already put, um, I've already put the uh, rivets in and I also did glitter on them, which I think the glitter on here turned out like really cool looking actually. Uh, I did do a video, I think, already on just on the images that I did with the wax. These were dipped in wax first. You can, to get your rivets in, you can use whatever tool you have. I use the, this monster, <laughs> this thing. Uh, so anyway, okay, I think that's all I need to tell you. Um, I have already done the, 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 um, the, uh, collage papers and stuff on here and then I've already done my gesso and I did the I put the gesso on pretty heavy closed the book although I'm having trouble closing it now but I closed the book and then opened it and then this was the texture that I got so I'm going to uh, leave that like it is that the texture so I'm going to go with since these wings are kind of purplish and I kind of colored in her her jacket with purple. I'm going to go with a purple paint. This is just a regular old deco art acrylic that I don't remember where I got. So the glitterific I got at Hobby Lobby, I have not really seen it anywhere else, but then I haven't really looked for it anywhere else. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, it's like three times as expensive as it is in the stores for some reason. I, I'm not sure why. Um, I think that's it. So we're going to, that might not have been shook up well enough. So let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is here lately with 4th of July, but it's like, it's lasting for a month now. You know, people buy fireworks and they set them off like all month long. Uh, so that's, <laughs> I get tired of hearing them. 
Well, it wouldn't bother me so much if they were just, you know, like around 7 or 8 in the evening, but they, they set them off pretty late. And we have one neighbor who, who literally will just go out and just set off one really loud, booming firework, like just random, random days of the week. <laughs> so you're like, okay, <laughs> did I miss something, you know? Something I don't know about. We It took us like quite a few years to get used to him. Like <laughs> we're like, oh yeah, that's just the neighbor, you know, no big deal. So I'm going to uh, use my paper towel as I often do. And then also once this dries, I am going to, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go back in and sand this down because that texture, wherever you sand lightly, will show up even more. And then this purple paint will kind of be down in the crevices. This is some pretty, pretty thin paint. Usually the acrylic's a little bit thicker. Hope everybody is doing well. We actually did have a, a really gorgeous day today. Beautiful weather today, which is always surprises me when we have beautiful weather in July or August because those are usually two uh, brutal months for us <clears throat> in the Midwest here. That's usually when we are our hottest and our most humid. <clears throat> uh, I think I mentioned in another video that you can uh, put something underneath your page so that you don't get paint on everything. Because especially if you've got laces and stuff on the side, you don't want to get paint on them. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to let this dry for a minute. So I'm just going to take a piece of um, sandpaper. Yep, that's dry. And just lightly go over this. And everywhere where there was that texture from the uh, from the gesso, see? Everywhere that, where there was texture is going to pop back up to the surface, which looks really cool. I'm sorry if this sanding noise bothers you. I will try and edit this out <laughs> as much as possible if I, can, if I can figure out how to do it. I figured out how to do some editing, you know, but like I said the other day, I did editing and I ended up messing up the vocal track on it. It's going to run um, just some Tim Holtz ink down the page just to make sure that there isn't any white showing. Okay, I really like that. Really, really, really like that. Um, so I think I might, let's see. This is like a weird, I mean, it looks great to me, but they call it boulder. <laughs> uh, to each his own, right? Call it whatever you want. Looks like gray. It's funny because when my son was um, starting kindergarten and he was taking like his kindergarten test, you know, they, uh, the teacher afterwards said, oh, he did really good. He only missed like two things. And I was like, well, what did he miss? And she said, well, he didn't know what, he didn't know what the color gray was. And I said, really? What, what did he call it? And she said, he called it silver. 
And I looked at her and I said, well, you know, <laughs> it really is kind of the same thing. You know, it was just, it was pretty funny. All right. So I'm just going to do some little circles on these pages. So uh, I have a, um, this is a, you know, like a paper towel kind of thing, except for it's got really small. It's not like your normal size paper towel. So anyway, I'm just going to do, just going to get some on there and then I'm just going to. I'm going to kind of hold the, you know, it's starting to get to the point now where I kind of got to support it whenever. And the thing is, is, you know, you just never know what's going to actually show up on the finished page and what isn't. So I just kind of go around and just do my thing. There we go. I'm going to do this one. And you can use, you know, whatever you want to use. You could probably use a little juice glass or something. I guess it also depends on the size book that you're actually using. You don't want something that's got um, uh, big, you know, big circles. Uh, well, I mean, maybe you do. Uh, but if you have a small surface and you use something that's got big circles, you're only going to be able to do one or two of them. Um, <clears throat> but... Uh, yeah, so, but, you know, whatever it is that you're going for, whatever the look is that you're going for, then that, you know, use whatever you want. So, okay, so I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. So, yeah, so see, I make um, these, I actually make these out of the little squares on your tea bag. So, uh, and then I put them on a little bulb pin. And then I connect them to either a piece of lace that's on your book or I poke a hole, that kind of thing. And it's just, it's just neat little dangly and more texture and that kind of thing. So that, that's what I was going for here for this. Yeah. So anyway, all right, so this is dry. So now we can, we can, uh, do our little butterflies. So I'm just going to glue these on with my art glitter glue. You can use uh, whatever you have, I'm sure, like a glue stick or um, tacky glue or whatever. I might actually only use four of these. I was thinking about doing two down and then, but I would need eight and I only made seven. <laughs> So do you all have any uh, particular summer traditions? 
that you do. These I will use for another page or another project. All right. So we have her there. And we got this gal here. So now I need to find, find their, uh, their words. Well, you can hear me dropping everything, can't you? <laughs> it's just like... Ah, because they have this big table and it is a very big table but my workspace is down to about one foot by 18 inches <laughs> okay so hers hers is going to be wondering why a watched pot never boils so I'm just a girl wondering why a watched pot never boils and I'm just a girl thinking about my to-do list. Okay. All right. That worked. to make sure that I don't get this on the wings. That down really good. Alright guys, I think that is about it. And then I still have to do the stabilo around the edge. And now I'm going to poke my hole here. 
this can be kind of tricky <laughs> when you've got it in a book like this. So, um, let's see. What do I want the larger? I think I'll go with the larger one. All right, so I'm going to be very careful. <laughs> Put that in there. And I don't want to get the uh, the butterfly. So there we go. And then get rivet here. Or, or whatever. What are these things called? I don't know what these things are called. <laughs> I don't actually know. remember in my scrapbooking days we had to uh come on get in there and in my scrapbooking days we had to we didn't have a crocodile that's what this thing is called a crocodile we had um <laughs> you had like the little metal thing and you'd have to like nail it to get the back to spread <laughs> so, yeah and so whenever I do this page I might um take this out you know so that I so that this isn't in the way when I'm actually working on it and I think I'm actually going to uh I think I might add one more little string of some sort but anyway so I'm trying very hard to keep these videos under 30 minutes um, I'm not succeeding <laughs> all the time <laughs> So I'm going to go around all of this stuff and her, uh, I'm probably not going to do the wings. I'm not going to outline the wings. So the um, workshop that I'm taking in September uh, with Lori Murray Jenkins, she is actually going to be in my state. And um, she's doing, a, it's going to be a carnival thing, or not carnival, um, circus theme. And I actually found a book that has... Um, a circus image um, on the inside covers.